What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about why I am getting Final Fantasy 16. So this is a series where I take a look at an upcoming game and talk about whether I'm getting it, not getting it, or am somewhere in the middle. And for Final Fantasy, it is an obvious one. This is a for sure day one buy for me. Now, I've talked a little bit about my experience with Final Fantasy. This is really, in terms of like mainline installments, right, numbered installments, and going in order, this is really the first one that I'm going to be experiencing like this with everybody else so like I played 7 remake and I played that you know day one with everybody else but considering that was a remake of 7 so we're going kind of backwards in time um, this is really the first one I'm jumping into you know I played a little bit of Final Fantasy 15 but not a lot and really scattered throughout the years and you know things like 13 like the lightning trilogy I'm actually going back to collect those games I have the first two I just need the third one I'm gonna play them but I watched my sister play them back in the day so I I've never actually touched Final Fantasy 13. So this is a new age fan you're listening to right now. This is somebody who kind of wants to be part of Final Fantasy. I'm a huge diehard Kingdom Hearts fan for pretty much all of my life. So that I got checked off. And then Final Fantasy seems like the next evolution of my character arc. Plus you got the combat system that is looking incredible. I just had played through for the first time DMC5 about two months ago. So I love the combat there. I think it's really good. So I got everything working for for me to experience this game, I think, as it should be when it comes out. And also, this is, I like to talk about this in these videos, you know, when it releases and compared to other games, June is packed. But the odd thing with June, well, number one, there's games kind of for everybody. But one thing a lot of games kind of have in common in June is a lot are multiplayer, or a lot have multiplayer components in them. So you got like Street Fighter, and you got Diablo, and, and even a more under the radar one that I'm actually very much looking forward to, Crash Team Rumble. Those are three of the four games of my top games that I'm looking forward to in June. And all of them have a huge, whether it's required for like a Crash game, or the other two, you know, you don't have to do online, but you probably will. You know, for Final Fantasy, this is that single player story game that I'm waiting for. I've been waiting for. My wife stole the Switch to play Tears of the Kingdom. So the last one I've played, I think, was like Resident Evil. So it's been a while since I played. Just give me a 50, 60 hour, you know, single player adventure, you know, action adventure. And let me just go through it. And that's what Final Fantasy 16, I think, is going to be. Everything we've heard about this game has sounded incredible. I will say, I am getting tired of like seeing it. And it's not in the same way as say like a Deathloop. Deathloop uh, notoriously, right? Was at like every single PlayStation event or even if it was in the PlayStation event, it would still be there. It would still show off like a 2-minute trailer. That game was okay. I don't I didn't like it as much as critics liked it for sure, but it appeared everywhere and it just got honestly like annoying to see over and over and over again. For Final Fantasy, I think it's a little bit different where I'm sold. Like I'll watch anything new that comes out. I think, you know, PlayStation had that another new trailer at their showcase a few weeks back or a week ago, depending on when you guys watch this video, right? And I watched it and it was incredible. But it's like, I also don't need to see it. Like, I've seen more than enough from previews and just all of these different trailers of 16 that I don't need to see anymore. I think it's going to be one of the better games of the year. I'm more than happy to play the Street Fighters and uh, Diablo 4s of the world until we get to it. But once that date, once June 22nd comes around, you know, Final Fantasy 16 is the only game that's going to be uh, played in this household, at least from my point of view. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon's turned on. I'll be covering the game a little bit more in depth as the weeks go on. I like to start the coverage off with this kind of video, uh, but I'll be doing more as the weeks go. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all on the next one.